This is Yom Yerushalmi, Brachos Daf Yud Beis. Uh, in order to start Daf Yud Beis off properly, we should start right after the Mishnah on the bottom of Daf Yud Avon Beis. Chayav Hashem Yochanan said, "Dodim Di Beitor Di Beis." Dodim Di Beisov Di Beitorah. There's a close connection, like relatives, uh, the Rabbanans and the Torah, uh, the Di Beitorah, the Chavivik Di Beitorah, and uh, the words of um, the Rabbanan are just as uh, precious. As the words of Torah, the Torah itself, your palate, meaning things which come out of the Torah Shabbat, the palate of the mouth, are like the good fine wine, which is considered Torah Shabbat. B'shem Rabbi Yehuda ben Pazi, teina chashel chavivim divrei sofim divrei Torah. No, divrei sofim are even more precious than divrei Torah. Rishare Rabbi Tarfon, Ilu lo kara, lo over el basse. Rabbi Tarfon in our Mishnah, not to have read Shema at all, he would have just been over a mitzvah sase, which is relatively minor, Avera. But because he violated the words of Beis Hillel, who said that uh, you uh, are supposed to uh, read the way you find, your, way you find yourself, call them Kore Kedarko, uh, then there, but he did not, but he lay down. Uh, in order to read Shema, so uh, he was. Um, uh, um, he was liable to death. There's a principle that somebody who breaches the uh, fence set up by the rabbanon is bitten by a snake. In other words, is susceptible to death as a result. In the Torah itself, there's things which are forbidden, things which are permitted, yesh ben kulin, yesh ben chamurida, things which are uh, uh, lighter, and things which are more severe. Av divrei soifrim kulon chamurin hein. But divrei soifrim, the rabbanas are all severe. Teid al chashiku kein. And I will prove to you that this is the case. Nitzin atal milot over there, ha'omer ain't filin lo lavor al divrei Torah potur. The uh, person says, says there's no such thing as tefillin, there's no mitzvah tefillin, uh, which eliminates the Raisa. He hasn't committed any uh, specific Avera. Chamesh tota fosa divrei soifim. Here, divrei soifim means not the Rabbanan, rab- rab- but the droshes of Rabbanan. And uh, the Rabbanan were the ones who darshan that there should be four batim in the tefillin. And somebody who adds chamesh totavos another bias in the tefillin, we'll see what the bais soifim chayv. He is over on bal tosif. In other words, he commits mitzvah, commits the bayer the raisa of uh, adding on to mitzvah which is forbidden, and that is because he went against the drushas of the rabban. Uh, so there's a famous uh, Rambam when, when he says that. Um, that Kiddushay Kasef is Medivri Soifri. That uh, the, uh, uh, the, to marry a woman with money is Medivri Soifri. And everybody asks that that seems to mean the Rabbanan. Seems from the Gemara Kiddush, it's the Raisa, not the Rabbanan. So the answer, that standard answer given, I believe by the Kasef Mishnah, is by the Medivri Soifri. That means it was darshan by the Rabbanan. Which well, doesn't say explicitly in the Torah, but it was expounded and something which is Nidrash, something which is the, the Rambam. Said when Ram says Divrei Soifrim, I'm not sure it's 100 percent true all the time. It refers to something which is darshan by the Rabbanon as opposed to a takon of the Rabbanon. Rabbi Chanani b'Reid Rav Ad, Rabbi Shem Rabbi Tanchum, Bei Rabbi Chia. Rabbi Chanani, the son of Rabbi Ad, named Rabbi Tanchum, said it was said over from the house of Rabbi Chia. Chamurim Divrei Zkenim Divrei Nevi. The words of the elders, the Rabbanon, are more severe than the words of the Nevi. Tichsiv, because it says. Al tatifu yatifun, lo yatifu ev leasi klimos, which is a pasuk in Micha, and the uh, uh, the, uh, the pasuk actually says al tatifu yatifun. That's correct. Okay. So, so in other words, Hashem commands the beam, don't don't deliver your nevua. Atifu I think means to to. to Cause to drip, but it means you don't live in a war to, to the Jewish people since they're not paying attention to you and they're they're denigrating them. They're, they're, uh, don't why should you be in bad, denigrated by them? Let's see, you shouldn't be put in a situation being denigrated. 
On the other hand, Uksiv, it says, in, uh, it says there, uh, um, afterwards, it says a few more, a few seconds later, uh, the Atif Lecha Uriyain Lishechor. This is uh, the, uh, the the Pasuk actually, the full Pasuk says, Lu Ish Halech Ruach, the Sheker of Kizev, Atif Lecha Uriyain Shechor, Vayam Etifa Amaze. In other words, if you find a person who's a, 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 a liar, a denier, uh, who, uh, so then you should give them the following prophecy. Get drunk in wine and in other intoxication be beverages, and then this Navi will be uh, accepted to this nation. So ha Hashem said that, again, if they want to have, basically it means if you want to have um, false nebulas, get false nebulas, right? If you're going to go be a person who is uh, uh, drunk and who hears distortions, go ahead and hear distortions, okay? But but the, uh, uh, the assumption is, although it's not explicit here in the Gemara, that the Chachamim still are going, are, are, the words of the Chachamim are still have to be given over to teach the people Torah, even if the Vos cannot be given over. In other words, say a person, a person who's a Tamil Chacham, who's a Rav, has to give over the Musar, even at places where Navi does not give over the Musar. Evidently, because the very story from again are Allah. You can't prevent, you can't look, not teach Allah. Whereas the very story from in this case, are the David uh, Nebuah. Or words of Musar and Al Tochach Let's Ben Yisrael are not supposed to rebuke people who are not going to listen to you. So the Vua, you refrain. They're just going to lead to Klimos. The, if, if if you want to uh, teach but, but to teach people Torah, that you must do right. And that's what the Pnei Moshe says in the end of the first Pnei Moshe. Avdius came lomati to kain alpha bishen mashgichim. Amra Torah, and he brings out a pasuk to teach us this. V'yidu l'chaz var mishpat. They have to say, "Yidu is lashon kasha," right? They have to say the dead var mishpat. And v'an ashle la mamri la mamri shamli divrayim, and let them be punished if they have to be punished. By the vua, it's better not to tell them the vua if they're not going to listen. But by Allah, there's no choice but to tell them that. And then fascinating marshal here. Navi v'zaki the mayim daimim. Well, what's what's what, what, what? Let's compare Navi and Zaki. It's like the Melch Shlach Shnei Palmatarin. The word Palmatarin uh, comes from some sort of uh, uh, some derivation of the word Parliament. Uh, so the uh, it's uh, somebody who uh, uh, I think I'm not sure about that, but I think it's some derivation of the word Parliament, and it means somebody who represent who's representing the words of the king, represents the the edicts of the king. So the king sent Shtei Pam al Tarim Shlul the Medina. Charmim Kasav im Eino Mar Lachem Chayt Sam Shali. If he doesn't show you my seal, uh, this one Palmat this Palmatara does not show me show you his seal, and the Sam Sam Sanatirin Shali, and uh, that's uh, also some sort of sign that the king sent him. Al uh, Tamilo, don't re don't believe it. On the other one, he wrote, even though he doesn't show you my seal, Haminu, believe him, below Chotem, below Samaritan, without the seal and without the other signs. So by Novi, it says, He has to give you a sign or a wonder, otherwise, you don't accept him. But by the Rabbanon, they don't have to prove themselves. Once they have uh, this, this, um, this, uh, uh, the, 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 they're accepted as being Rabbanon, Rabban, you, they don't have to bring any further evidence. And I, I, I obviously, the, there, there are reasons why Navi has to bring Oysa Moifes because his mission is different than the Rabbanon's mission, but the, the point is that a, a Navi is, to a certain extent, not on the same level as a Chacham, and we have the in fact the Gemara Baal Basra, in the Bavli Chacham Adif Minavi. Then it gives it a different angle, but the same principle here that in certain ways the Chacham is superior to Navi. 
Um, the uh, by the way, the banging out the parliamentary in Marech Sa'aruch, he says that uh, the instead of the girsa which you have here, parliamentarian, he actually has parliamentarian, and he says a word which is half Greek and half Latin, and uh, it's uh, palmi is a language of uh, Greek of army, and no train like notary is a scribe. So it's uh, evidently it's a it would be an, uh, a soldier scribe. But then he says that there's uh, another shot here from the Orach Sholem that Palmatarin are the trustworthy people of the king. And then he gives another shot afterwards. But in any event, uh, getting then uh, about Samatarin, he says that it's a it's a hat, and because the uh, uh, I guess it's from. Uh, some from some Greek, Greek word, and he, but then he says actually from uh, different shot that it's a Greek word for chaisim, so it'd be similar synonymous with the previous word. Anyway, be that as it may, uh, let's go further. Uh, 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 again, the by the Benovit says on Sadlacha also a face from Hocha Piatora Sher Yerucha, based on the Torah that they teach you. But I, I want to add here a little bit more, which is that the uh, also uh, the Navi can't prove his nevuah based on his chachma. Nevuah is given from a kodesh baruch Hu, so therefore it has to have an oisim moifes. The chacham, based on his chachma alone, can demonstrate that he's a tamil chacham. So therefore, he doesn't need an additional oisim So uh, hadad tema. So now we're going back to uh, when one can do like base, whatever one wants, whether like beis hill or beis shamai. Uh, not all the, not all the time. Uh, 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 after the Basco came out at, uh, at that halacha kebeis hillel, then we no we can no longer do like beis shamai. But previous to that, before that Basco came out, Anybody wanted to both like the Chumas of Beishamay Beishelel, Al Zenamar Ksil B'Chay Shecholich. He's a fool. He's like a fool going in the darkness. He, he, uh, because you should be consistent. You know, not mock me like both. It's paradoxical. Uh, uh, somebody who is Kukule um, Elebeil uh, goes like Chumas B'Shamay Beishel Nikor Rosho. It's a paradox in other direction, and that's Rishos. Okay, Kuli Dedain, Okay, Kuli Dedain, you like the Kulas and the Kumas of one side. Okay, Kuli Dedain, Okay, Kuli Dedain, the Kumas Dedain, or like the other side. Again, Hot other Tema at Shalo Yotsla Basco. That's before the Basco came out. How much Yotsla's Basco? Once the Basco, the sound of the voice came out from Shamayim, saying that Halacha Kedibe Basil, Mishas Basco, Oma Halok Dibe Basil, Behold Ever at Dibe Basil, Chai Miso. Anybody who violates the uh, standards of Beis Hill is liable to death. Tani, and now we learned um, this. Actually, this Gemara appears several times in the Ushalmi, following Gemara. And uh, Tani Yotzas Baskov Armor, the Baskovim, and said, "Elu Beil Dibel Kim Chaim." Both these and those are the uh, living words of God, or the Avo Halacha. So Elu Beil, right? Avo Halacha Dibel Beis Hill. Where did this Basco come out? So Rabbi Bibi Amar Bishem Yochum Biyavne Yotzas Basco. Basco came out of Yavne. And Rabbi, uh, the Pnei Moshe says, Kshayu Sanhedrin Kvuin Biyavne. When the Sanhedrin was sitting in Yavne. So I always understood why this is important to this good, to Yushalmi, to know where the Basco came out. I think the Pshat is like this. Even though uh, Tysus in several places in Shah says that according to uh, they're show emash kikim basko, and therefore questions how why we pass kikim basil. But I think what the Ushami is trying to say that there, yes, normally emash kikim basko, it's not evidence, except in this case because here the basko came in Sanhedrin, out in Sanhedrin. In other words, the since it was in, in, uh, the, in the Sanhedrin that basko came down to the Rabbana directly when there was uh, a Sanhedrin sitting there formally. So then that was considered to be an authoritative basco. So I think that that is the reason why, even though perhaps elsewhere, when the basco came out in Yavne, then that was authoritative and definitive.
I think that that's why Mishami always stresses that the Basco came out of Yavne. In the morning, you make one bracha before Shema, uh, uh, two brachas before Shema, and one after Shema. In the evening, make two brachas before Shema and two after Shema. One of the brachas is long and one of them is short. Malcolm Shalom Larich place and they said to make a long bracha, and Rashai Katzer, now to make a short bracha. The Katzer, they said to make a short bracha, and Rashai Larich, and now to make a long bracha. Bachdom, if they said to 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 have a signature on a bracha, to end the bracha to Hashem, at the end, and Rashai Shalachdom, you're not allowed not to have a signature at the end. Shalachdom, they said not to have a signature, and Rashai Shalachdom, you're not allowed to have a signature at the end. Says Gemara. Rabbi Shimon Shem Shem Rabbi Shimon Bar Nachman. Shimon said name of Shmuel Shmuel Bar Nachman. Al Shem Vagisa Bo Yom Avolayla. So it says you should uh, think uh, or um, uh, contemplate the words of Torah day uh, day and night. Uh, the, um, so the Gemara says, okay, fine. If that's the case. Uh, now here it says Shete, but the Shari Torah Israel changes it to, to Vite, and it's a question. Vite goyos yom bolayla shavin. So the, the why the Gisi yom bolayla means that you should that you should contemplate the words of Torah that day, night, and day, and that means every these the brachos Krishma, which are expanding the Shema itself, are contemplation of the words of Torah. But in that case, they should be congruent. They should be symmetrical. In other words, as the same amount of brachas you have during the day, you should have at night, and vice versa, right? So uh, why the discrepancy that uh, in the morning we always say one after bracha after Shema, and in the evening we say two brachas after Shema? Uh, Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Yossi, Bar Adam, Mishem Rabbi Shimon Levi says, Al Shem Sheva Bayom Hel Yilal Tilcha Mishpatei because we'll derive the number of brachas we say from this pasuk. Sheva yom hilitilcha mishpatei tzikecha. Seven times they appraise you on your righteous, uh, on your righteous laws. So the, the this asmachta is um, that teaches us that there's supposed to be seven brachas surrounding Shema. Evidently, the mishpatei tzikecha here is taken as an allusion, some level to Shema, and therefore you're supposed to have a. Um, you're supposed to have a, um, a, a, a supposed to have seven brachas, so it is supposed to be uneven because you can't divide seven equally into uh, the, the symmetrical uh, parts. Uh, anybody who does the seven br- br- brachas of um, uh, the Shema, it's as if he fulfilled the Yisab Yom Balayla. Now, the Yisri Yom Balayla is not the Mitzvah of Talmud Torah. The Mitzvah of Talmud Torah is separate. It's a Mishnah of Melecha, the Barth of Bam, from the Torah itself. But the Yisri Yom Balayla is a Pasuk in Yoshua. And that means that a person should contemplate Torah even when it's not the Mitzvah of Talmud Torah per se. And Afkamina is, of course, according to those of the Mitzvah of Talmud Torah is only if you actually verbalize the words of the Torah. But Gisa is to think, mull over them, to contemplate them. So therefore, it's, it means an expand, not the specific Talmud Torah, but an expansive aspect of Torah. And said, besides the minimum of learning Torah day, day and night, which is a positive day and night, there's also an Indian of a Gisa to contemplate words of Torah day and night. So Kriya Shema is the Kikor of Torah. It's the midst of Talmud Torah, besides the midst of Kriya Shema. But Gisa is to contemplate in addition to the words of Torah themselves, and they the they expand expand the words the, the words of Torah the midst of Torah into contemplating it and uh, and this contemplation evidently your yod say according to him according to Rav Nachman Shem Raimana by the Birkos Kriyashma that's the purpose which they serve it says go further why do we read the parashiyos of Shema every day Rabbi uh, uh, Rabbi Levi Rabbi Simon. Rabbi Siyom Mem Neisha, they had two different explanations. So Siyom Mem Neisha, Kosu Bayim Shchiva Vakima, because it says in uh, in them when you uh, lie down and when you rise up. So uh, so that seems to indicate that it's a good thing to say these parshas when you lie down, when you get up. Um, uh, 
רבי לוי אומר, מפני, אמר מפני, אז שעשר סדיבוס כולים בהם, because you have the עשר סדיבוס alluded to in this, uh, in the, um, uh, in the, uh, in the parashios of Shema. Uh, so, um, uh, that's what the, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 first the, 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 first two the, 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 but then he says, uh, So then he says, but perhaps he changes the gears and says, that's appropriate to say, read, why do we say not, why do we write these two, read these two parshas, but rather three parshas uh, every day. So uh, because one of the three of them, you have the Aseres Hadibros. Um, so uh, how so? Anochi Hashem Elokecha is in Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu. Lo yelchol him acherim al panai. So Hashem Elokecha. So Hashem Elokecha teaches us Anochi Hashem Elokecha that we have a Kodesh Baruch that we don't have anyone else. So Hashem Elokecha. Lo si sa Hashem Hashem Elokecha l'ashav not to say Hakodesh Baruch's name in vain. For half the Hashem Elokecha to love Hakodesh Baruch. Man the Rachim Malka somebody who loves the king. Lo mishtabish made the b'sheker he doesn't swear falsely in his name. He doesn't take a shvur in his name and why? So the uh, uh, so the uh, obviously there's a connection between the mantis guru, which is in the uh, Bayomer, and Zohar's Yom Shabbos Kodesh. Rabbi Omer Zumitzvah Shabbos she shkula connected kol mitzvah se'ah shel Torah. The 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 mitzvah of Shabbos. It corresponds to all the mitzvahs of the Torah together. The see the Shabbos kodesh chol datolem, or the mitzvahs of the chukim the Torah tzivisa of the goimer. We're going to go a little bit further. Just to finish the sentence, lo diyah she shkul shkul kenek kol mitzvah says shel Torah to tell us that the since the since the mitzvahs and chukim the Torah are all connected to Shabbos and it's passing the chemia. It tells us that it's connect it corresponds to all the mitzvahs of the Torah. Now, uh, I, I'm not sure if this is the intent here, but it seems that this is connected also to Tzitzis being Shoko Kneg Kolom Mitzvah Sotar. Risa was always Chartem Tzko Mitzvah Sashem. So therefore, that would make sense. Uh, additional explanation here, the lineage between the Matis group and Zohar, both of these Shabbos and Tzitzis are w ways to encompass and be reminded of the entire Torah. And we'll finish up the Sotar uh, with uh, tomorrow's uh, afternoon.